Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Tarot with Whimsy. It is I, Whimsy, your favorite tarot reader who's named Whimsy. All right. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the feedback I've been getting from people uh, regarding the emergency uh, that the uh, president has called. Um, and also the fact that supposedly Mitch McConnell came out and said he supported it. Mitch McConnell doesn't support it. <laughs> Mitch McConnell is trying to get Donald Trump to sign the damn bill so that they don't wind up in another shutdown. Um, so it's interesting. Last night I did my meditation uh, to try and figure out what was going on, if I could pick anything up, because what the public is being told, what's happening uh, publicly versus what I see when I do my meditations are often very, very, very different. So I want to talk a little bit about that. So last night I did my meditation and the first thing that I saw when I focused on Mitch McConnell was that Mitch McConnell questions the mental health of this president. In plainer words, the first thing that I saw when I meditated on the situation with McConnell, Mitch McConnell and President Donald Trump was this increasing suspicion on the part of Mitch McConnell that Donald Trump is mentally ill. So I want to talk a little bit about that because from the Republican playbook, from the Republican perspective, the fact that Donald Trump could be mentally impaired or mentally ill may be an advantage politically. And this gets to be a little bit complicated, so let me try and reason it out with you. If you can convince people that the president is crazy, if you can convince people that he has, say, pre-dementia, and we do know that the psychiatric community is concerned about the erratic behavior and a duty to warn that they are, they are basically saying that the behavior mimics what we would call pre-dementia. So that's interesting because when I go into the energy, that is exactly how it feels when Mitch, when I'm in Mitch McConnell's energy, that Mitch McConnell is coming to the steady realization that the president is, is mentally unwell. Now, what do you do when you find out that the head of your party is mentally ill or you have suspected for some time that the person's got a lot of power and that the person is potentially dangerous? Well, on the one hand, you still have to be publicly coming out in support of the president because he is the head of your party. At the same time, you have to be feeling some kind of increasing dread or alarm. So I think what happened was that Mitch McConnell uh, and the rest of the people in DC during the shutdown realized that they were in a constitutional crisis. I think that potentially people could have gotten killed. There could have been plane crashes. It could have gotten really, really bad. I think that there was some kind of a, a red button that was pushed. And I think some kind of serious conversation with the president, uh, what, they had some kind of serious conversation with the president. According to some of the information that's coming out from uh, Andrew McCabe, he is saying that they had talked about invoking the 25th Amendment. I think that that, as I had said in a, the previous remote, yeah, they have thought about that and how they could uh, allow that to happen. But as it stands, excuse me, as it stands right now, I think that they're just trying to strip power from him as much as possible. Uh, manipulating him, gaslighting him, getting him to sign things, uh, pulling away power as much as they can, uh, manipulating and maneuvering someone whose mental health they, they seriously question. And I think that that is where we are at right now in DC. 
So if you need him to not create another shutdown, you say, yes, we agree with you. So first sign this and you should know we have veto power because we got 84 votes. So we're going to go with, with or without you, we're gonna pass this legislation, but we would like you to be on board. So you tell the guy what he wants to hear. You make the public announcement that he wants you to make. Yes, we support you. You go, you go do your, your border thing. You go do your emergency. Uh, you, you call a state of emergency. You go do whatever you have to do. Yes, yes, yes. It's like the crazy grandpa who is losing his mind and you, you don't want to distress somebody who has Alzheimer's or pre-dementia. So you just tell them what they want to hear, but you need them to do something for you. Sign the documents. Yes, yes, yes. You go off and you, meanwhile, you know, it's not going to go anywhere or it's going to fall apart. It's probably not going to get very, get very far. They can go ahead and try. But as far as the Republicans are concerned, they care more about the mental health of this president than they do about the Russia probe. And that is because many of the Republicans are still either, number one, skeptical that the president uh, colluded with the Russians, or number two, they're not thrilled with the idea of uh, the feds investigating dark money. So for whatever reason, the Republican Party is not concerned about the Russia collusion aspect of this president, whether or not this president colluded. That is not where where the Republicans are at right now. Where the Republicans are at right now is what's gonna happen in 2020? How can we get reelected? And what do we do about the fast fact that it's become apparent to us that this president is mentally unwell? So that is the Republican playbook. They believe this, they do not necessarily believe he colluded with Russia, but here is what they are beginning to believe. They are beginning to believe that he is mentally ill. Now, why is this actually a good thing theoretically? Because if you can use the argument that he's mentally ill and that he's been men mentally ill for some long, for a long time, then you can create a defense for his behavior and say, my senile grandpa, my senile grandmother has all of these debts and ran up a bunch of uh, bills, but she didn't know what she was doing. So therefore, theoretically, can we get you to uh, not charge us for all the bizarre things that she was doing when she wasn't totally in her right mind? It's a, it's a good argument to continue to play the idea of his mental health as a problem because theoretically he would be able to get off of any kind of criminal charges and probably fairly easily be able to prove that there's something organically wrong. So that is probably the long game as far as the Republicans are concerned. Uh, in terms of Mitch McConnell, I think he wants a psyche vow. I think when I was in his energy and based on what he witnessed, you have to realize that Mitch McConnell witnessed some pretty disturbing behavior in terms of not only how the president was speaking to him, but just in terms of how the president has been behaving. And there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. And the right way is to have a complete psyche vow and to get a real uh, medical, uh, you know, a real medical evaluation taking place. And I think that that either has happened or will be happening. And uh, that is definitely what Mitch McConnell wants. <coughs> Excuse me. And that seems to be the playbook that the Republicans are heading in. So be prepared to see in the coming months more and more Republicans saying that they question the mental health of this president. But the good news about that is that once you say that somebody is mentally ill, they then don't have to go to jail, right? They don't have to you can be gentle with them because they weren't in their right mind. So that is where we're headed with that. Somebody had asked me if I could look at the Mueller investigation and find out if we need to be worried uh, with William Barr being uh, the new uh, head of the uh, Justice Department. I think it might be fun to take a look at that. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do a quick throw on William Barr. with a little bit of Flopsy's help. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's give Flopsy, let's give Flopsy a nice, there we go. Yes, 
Flopsy has to be seen in all her glory. Let's see, William Barr, William Barr. How are you gonna be as the Attorney General, Mr. Barr? Took away poor Jeff Sessions' dream job. Cutting it off, cutting off, and there's Mueller. So people are concerned about whether or not he's going to cut off Mueller or fire Mueller. I would be a little disturbed with a page of swords next to the Mueller probe, next to Mueller's card, but let's take a look. Um, Ace of Pentacles, double swords, success over this uh, nominee. Look at that, he got double aces. He's very good. New growth, new changes. Going into smoother waters, I would say. Justice prevails, law prevails. Moving on. I think things are getting better. Going into smoother waters. Moving on, coming into power. Clarification, there's the law. This investigation will come to an end, but I don't see it necessarily coming to an end in a way that's negative or has anything to do with injustice, quite the opposite. It seems to end naturally. It seems to be a natural ending. Um, there may also be some kind of a decision regarding the president where he, he not only comes across as increasingly isolated, but I really think that the Republicans are gonna to begin to push this narrative of mental illness, which as weird as it sounds, may be the salvation of this president. I don't have a concern about William Barr right now, though I, w I have to say, this is something I would keep on the back burner, the fact that cutting it off with Mueller comes off as the base. However, I'm not too concerned just because I'm not seeing any cards that would indicate anything dangerous. Going into smoother waters, uh, com completion, you have a completion here, the law, moving forward, the law, ending confusion regarding a man possibly in a position of uh, authority, the president. I would interpret this as things coming to a natural conclusion even if they may be coming, ending much sooner. The public aspects of this investigation could be ending a lot sooner than we had thought, but I don't see it necessarily being a bad thing. So if Mueller uh, investigation comes to an end, um, it doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to change the karma regarding this president or the fact that the president has uh, shown increasingly erratic behavior that his constituents are concerned about him, they're concerned about his mental health, and certain aspects of the Mueller investigation will probably wrap up, and I don't see there, I don't see a justice being thwarted, I don't see, uh, I don't see there being a problem in terms of completing the investigation. But I can throw again on it in the future if you like, but uh, so far it looks pretty good. I like the double aces, the ace of swords, victory after tears, ace of pentacles, new position or new job regarding what justice, uh, the loss, king of swords coming in, emperor's fertility, things are getting done. So overall, I would say that it's probably a good thing. All right, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I enjoy doing this quick video. I actually have to run because I have some more 
um, customers and patients etc today if you'd like to schedule a tarot reading with me uh, absolutely I would love to uh, offer you one uh, you can just go to the Gen book account the booking page which is above this reading under book an appointment and uh, I would love to work with you all right thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time take care Bye.